Under the Tools menu in Micromanager, you will find the Device Property Browser, which displays a list of all devices and settings available for currently loaded hardware configuration. In this window, you can inspect and change any setting on any device. Read-only properties are shown as a line with a dark background. Since this list of devices will often be very long, you can restrict the list of displayed devices using the checkboxes on the top left corner of the window. To change settings on a device, click on the value column and then to leave the field, click the mouse elsewhere in the window. Changing individual properties using the device property browser will become cumbersome. Micromanager therefore provides a way to generate shortcuts that let you quickly set groups of device properties. In the configuration settings on the main control panel, you can set any number of devices in each group and set various groups with distinct functions. Just as it is shown here, you can set channels, light paths, objectives and other groups all in one easy to use dialog. The plus and minus buttons allow you to add and delete groups and presets. You can view and make changes to the settings of any group or preset by clicking on the edit button. A group editor window will appear that looks similar to the device property browser but has a third column called use in group. Properties that are in this group have a check in the use in group column. For instance, in this channel group, the dichroic label and chord shutter properties are checked. Similarly, you can edit and view the preset editor, which lists only those properties you have chosen for your new group. In some cases, device properties can show up as a slider making it easy to set things like camera gain or temperature. Here we add a group called gain which has a slider as its preset. Now we can add a new group called channels which will include multiple properties such as dichroic labels and core shutter. This will allow us to control specific channels and the shutter at the same time. Once you have selected these properties, click OK and it will be prompted to the preset editor to set specific presets. In this window you can begin by entering a name for the preset. By clicking on the preset value for the two properties you can choose a particular channel and shutter for this preset and then click OK. You can add multiple presets to this group by changing the value for a property in each preset and assigning a new name. As it is shown here we are changing the dichroic label value and then assigning the name of the preset the same as the label. You can create any combination of preset values to meet your specific settings. After repeating this step multiple times, you will have a list of presets you can choose from. As a result, these configuration settings will become further useful when using multidimensional acquisition where you will be able to quickly select various channels to perform multidimensional acquisition. Another useful group to add would be the system group with startup as its preset. This allows setting presets for a range of properties to be automatically set upon startup, making it easy for users to quickly start using Micromanager. Be sure to save your settings using the save button so that next time you start up with this configuration file, your presets will be automatically loaded.